Hi, I'm Dr. Shell. I just wanted to try to demonstrate the power of our uh, EQ Pure product that we're getting ready to release. This is Dolly. She's a 14-year-old perch around mare. She was actually donated to our hospital several years ago. Um, unfortunately, she was used as a carriage horse, and they didn't do much work with her feet. So even at her age, she's not letting us pick her feet up to work on them. Uh, very, very difficult to uh, work on her at all. So here this morning, she is quite lame due to laminitis that's setting in with her. Uh, that we are dealing with with our pastures just due to the heavy rains and the high carb levels. So what I'm hoping to do right now is just to demonstrate to you how lame she is. She's got an obvious head bob on her left front, uh, what we would consider to be a grade, basically grade four to five lameness on the uh, AAEP standards. And um, we're hoping to uh, get this under control over the next few days and we'll see. So let's take her for a walk. As you can see, she really doesn't even want to walk on her left front. So hopefully we can get her going here just a little bit. Walking very gingerly. It takes a lot to get her moving. Seems depressed. What we've got here is uh, an x-ray lateral view of Dolly's left front. We were unable to get her right front because, again, we can't work with her feet and she would not stand up on blocks for us. So we were actually kind of lucky just to get this one shot. Um, as you can see here, just kind of brief anatomy. This is P1, P2, P3, the coffin bone. We've got a navicular bone. This is the hoof capsule here itself. Uh, a couple things to point out. Uh, number one, she does have some ring bone going on here, uh, a little bit of intraarticular ring bone, high ring bone here uh, involving the uh, pastern joint. The hoof capsule, when we're looking at these laminitic horses, we're trying to determine what is the angle between the front of the coffin bone and the front of the hoof wall and trying to determine what that angle measurement is. Um, ideally, they should be parallel with one another. Um, as you can see in this x-ray here, up towards the top of the hoof wall, we've got it to be fairly parallel. Down here at the bottom, you can see that there is an angulation that's coming up, and it's roughly about five to six degrees rotation with her overall. The other big thing, especially with her, is the thinness of the sole. I'm not sure if we can see down here at the bottom, but this is the bottom of the coffin bone itself. Obviously, this is the bottom of the hoof capsule uh, or the sole. And ideally, the measurement between the two in my standards is roughly about 10 millimeters minimum. Um, and she is measuring out to be about seven and a half to eight millimeters. So she's thinner than what she should be. Thus, when she steps on things such as the gravel outside, uh, it's pushing upwards and causing her to have some discomfort. So we've got uh, some angulation, we've got some thin soles, we've also got some ring bone that's developing up here as well. And ideally, these uh, three bones should be in a little bit better alignment than what they are, uh, but uh, we have very little to work with with her in terms of overall raw attitude. Uh, so we will do what we can with her, and the goal is to uh, keep her as comfortable as possible. All right, here we are three weeks after administering the EQ Pure twice daily. She's walking on gravel at this point in time, obviously. She's still a little bit on the lame side. On the left four, you can see the head bob. She is moving a little bit better than what she was a few weeks prior to, uh, but we'll try her on some grass here shortly and see what she looks like. All right, and here we are three weeks. She's walking on grass. You can see that the uh, head bob is still there on the left four, but she is moving much better. Uh, this goes to show that the, uh, you know, a softer ground such as the grass uh, does her much better in terms of the lameness versus the uh, hard rock gravel surface. And that gets back to the thin soles that she's been encountering and dealing with. But she is much better on the grass here at three weeks. And here we are at six weeks. Uh, again, we've been given EQ Pure twice daily. You can see she's in the round pen running freely. Uh, there's no head bob. She's moving well on her own. Uh, no real prodding needed. Uh, so she it seems at this point in time to be fully recovered uh, and doing well at this stage.
And here we are coming out of the round pen six weeks, uh, administering the EQ Pure. She's walking on gravel. You can tell uh, that she's got some marked improvement there. She's walking very well. The uh, hard surface of the gravel does not seem to be affecting her in terms of her lameness. Uh, and she's moving quite well on her own. Just a slight amount of stiffness there on the uh, front legs, uh, but much improved.